Hello everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and in today's video we are going to dig the spuds on the 18th of December, yes, very late, bit like the turf, but better late than ever. Before we get too much further in the video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell so you can notify the videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. But anyways, this is our Massey Ferguson 711 potato harvester and Father Phil's just getting the 35 ready. I'm going to get the 6290 put on the plant trailer so we can put our potato boxes on it and we're going to get digging. We have to get all the bits geared up and I'll show you something for those of you that seen our cow printed refrigerated unit. Well, this is it here and this is going to be our potato storage. Open it. Because I have two boxes, two of my potato boxes in there. So, I know in one of the videos I said we're going to do up an old shed for it, but the cost again that done, trying to get someone to do some of the plastering and that because I wouldn't have time to do it myself, it just we weren't going to get done in time. So we bought the refrigerator head unit, a cow printed refrigerator unit. It's um, an old lorry body off a of Muller lorry, that's why it's cow printed. But anyways, we go get ourselves organized. Father Phil is just, as I said, getting the 35, you can hear it there. I go get the plant trailer on and put them potato boxes on it. And we gather up a lot of bags and we get ready to go digging. So now, that is the potato digger on, we just brought it over to the workshop to grease it, spin it, put the shaft on and the potato box. So we have last year's potato box and that box which isn't great but it'll hold a few spuds for, for a while and then these two potato boxes which I made um, out of old pallets. Broke down some pallets and popped it all together with a few other bits of timber I found and I now have extra potato boxes. So. Three of the boxes should do me, hopefully. Um, I have to go find a lock of bags and we'll tip over to the house, we'll have a mug of coffee and we'll make sure the workforce is up and ready to dig some spuds or pick spuds off the table. Excited, that's why I am. It's, just, it's a lovely harvester to use. But anyway, I'm going to find a lock of bags and we'll bait on. So the Padejo digging convoy is on the road. Bro and Jess are gone on in the I'm to go on ahead of Father Phil. Anyways, we beat him. Leave a park there. Or try it. Up we go to the spuds. And there's the bidet harvester spinning away again. Hold on a second. Hurry up, fella. Get heavy bush now. Nothing. No, I don't think 
Andrew's always plugged in that. You're jammed, you're jammed. Where's the speed? I did top these potatoes months ago, but um, it's a lot of grass. So this could be interesting. So I could. So this drill here had nothing in it, but the next drill we have roosters. And we have roosters, then we have our heritage varieties, our <coughs> pink fur apples, our red emilies, our Mayan rose, Mayan gold, and Yukon gold. Then we have our records and our car pinks, and that's what we have. So that's the first one done, not much in it, but now we get lined up and we'll get into these roosters to see what they're like. And we'll be, yeah, we'll be bagging them because it's a bagging unit, or I may actually be going round and round. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. But um we'll be bagging them and then emptying them on the headlands into our potato boxes. Hopefully organized so we know what's in what. So I just tell Potatoes, 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 potatoes. Spade! Oh, we have a spudge! Yeah, curb pinks! They're organized here and start digging! Digging crew, happy house! Yay! Uh, no. yeah. Jessica with a big shiner on her face from playing rugby. I know, and you out with the camera. I know. Watch them taking pictures this week. Right, oh! Change over cameras, because this one, the legs aren't staying up too right, but we're ready to go now. He takes off. It's like, whoa. Why do you think I'm here? That's it. That's the first row of spuds dug. And two bags in a bit. Right. You hold that high empty them. Oh, 
care about seeing it. Yeah. Woo! Sweating like a pig here, so I am. Oh, another trim done. Another three bags of roosters. A wrong car pink cigar. Ow! Ow, I just hurt my hand. Huh? What? Okay. This is. This is a workout. Is this a workout? Busy between picking a few, keeping the bags done, and keeping a hand block. Well, I do pick a few because I feel like I have to help you. Don't pick any, bro. Just show what I'm doing. There's a few spuds missed. It's not blocking. So, we're just after going through a long dry patch. Do you remember why, Jess? Because I'm so good, I gave us a break without realizing it. If you remember in the video of planting them, we had an awful job to unblock it. That was, that was Jessica. Anyways. Did I? Yeah, you did, Jess. Are you religious, Jess? Sister Jess, huh? Okay. Anyways. We're back down the camera, time lapse is up. I put this on my head next because we'll soon be in the heritage varieties and I'll get bro to put up the drone to get a bit of drone footage. I keep an eye on what's going on here.
19 drills today. Yes. We have 11 done. We have a third of them done. And? All the roosters are done. All the roosters are done. So we put about half of the roosters. Oh, yeah, we could, yeah. And we just moved on to the Mayan Gold, which is one of the heritage varieties. Long yellow spots. <coughs> it's actually recording this time, so it's great. Yeah. Last time Jessica tried to do this, she time lapsed it. We had a great conversation. It was hilarious, and I forgot to press the cord. Uh, great, great spots them Mayan goals. Anyways, hi. Are you happy now? I think so, yeah. Good to go you again. You out that I was on the tractor. Yes, I was. And I said this is the pecking order, and you're picking. <laughs> and you've got clean hands, and we've got dirty hands. Yeah, pecking order. <laughs> pecking order. So. We're digging the mine golds now and the biggest issue with them is a lot of bigger ones all poke through the surface and are either green or have started to rot. So we didn't sow them deep enough? Yeah, well, maybe that's it. We didn't sow them deep enough or we should have um, ridged them again to try and put more clay on them. So yeah, it's a little bit annoying. There's only some big ones, then there's a lot of small ones. There's a lot of little nuggets. Like, look, like that one is all eaten and cut. Yes, we'll go back into a line of pinks, I think, now. So, yeah, that's the mine goals. So far, two bags, and there's only another half a drill in it, and that's it. So, there's not too many. The hurt is right, there's not too many of them. We only sold, sold what, about five kilos of seed each. <sighs> we a lot of roosters. A lot of roosters. Where are you the yellow ones? The Jeez. yellow ones? Into the top box. Shit. Into the top one. Huh? There's one more bag. Come on, get up there, bro. Is there? Yeah. Who's putting that down there? Don't get into the push you away. Don't get. No. See it build up here. I win. <laughs> and I'm gone. I'm at the end. And you know why I'm at the end? Because I'm doing it. Fuck off. Where are you going to put mother with you? In Eric's pocket. Where are you going to put Eric? Right, let's pick some spots. I don't just fucking stand there, don't you? After, Liv is picking them all on me. You look for them. That's rotten. It's rotten, you gotta go through. Get the big ones at least. You're missing them. Apparently, hey, lad. Liv is more useful than there. Liv is, ta Liv is taking them all. It's like so mesmerizing, isn't it? Yeah, you, you literally can't. You have to look ahead of where you want to pick them. Yeah, so you grab them. Like yeah. Can't buy coordination. How's it um, looking? Are we getting full there? Or... That's a rotten one. Jess, you don't seem to be doing much there. I don't do much. I'm going to pick the one to eat this. I don't need this one. Red, red, red Emily's. Red Emily's. Yeah. Okay. These are the, the purple ones. These are the fully purple, right through to the middle. I'll go around to you, Jess. Whoa. The next. Oh. Oh, the next. There must have been only a short line of them. Right, I have. Oh. Whoa. I have to pick it up off the top. Right, if you can run this machine slowly or slower, slower, 
just, just, just to try and get the pink furs through without damaging too much of them. Come on, now we will last there, da. He's got the picture, he's got it now. Oh. I'm so hungry. Gonna walk, Spike, brother. Gonna walk, Spike. Look at that first. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. There's so many. Super spuds. You may stall the bus here. I'm I'm overloading. Don't stop picking. Put the bag on there. I'm trying. I can't change the thing here. I'm over full. <laughs> Jesus Christ, there's some crop of these. This is amazing. Come and help you. That's how you fit to the water when you can swim. Ready to go. It's a pity about the clay you now. It seems to be getting a bit wetter since we got out into the field a bit. Yeah. Ah, it's just now. It's not a rest. I know, we'll beat another one of my drills and we can have another rest. These are my end goals now. Well, what have you been at? Oh, oh. How have you planted three different varieties in one fucking row? Because we did. To make it interesting, bro. To keep you on your toes. And now we've changed spuds again. We are on records. Good spuds. Uh, Alright, this one egg is getting a bit shook. Anyways, records and we have some good Mayan golds there now. So now we're on the final straight now. We're Liv man down. Woman down, Jess, woman down. <laughs> Liv, is, Liv has gone home to mind the shop because it's a Saturday. So now I'm going to have to try and double job here. In the gear. You have triple job, you have jump Triple job, uh. Oh. Can you see what this is looking at? Uh, yeah, yeah. Space. And is it looking pretty square? It is. It is, yeah. We got digging some spots. I think these are pink fur apples now. I think. Don't think what they are. You have no idea. Uh, no, these are pink fur apples. Yeah, just try and get just so the good ones. There's a lot of bad ones because they come up through the soil. They're so big. And there's a lot of them. Oh, oh, it's a stone. I have to do a bag here now. These are coming through pretty good, so there. Get the other bag. What's left? Ten. Ten drills. <laughs> Through the clock. <laughs> Mother fell playing a blinder bringing us food. Mm -hmm. Happy out? For the moment, yeah. And, and soup as well to warm us up a bit because it's starting to get a bit chilly so it is might put back on the overalls. Uh, <laughs> uh, stripping down, huh? I'm trying to make a line, but it won't work. So, we're on the last three drills. Getting there. I think all the left is records now. Well, we found a few pink ones. So, yeah, oh, this bag keeps falling over. It's not standing like it used to. You got to get back. It is tough going. It is cold. It's not that cold. I'm, I'm quite cold. hot.
Don't be putting clay in, bro. Yeah, bro. I have enough clay without you putting clay in. Yeah, so the clay this end of the field is very sticky and there's a lot of clay coming onto the table. Which is frustrating. Frustrating, yeah. And as you can see, everything is all clogged with clay. So It's the roller stop spinning. Oh. Right, I'm gonna put down the camera and we're going to get this finished and I'll be back then. Do you want a spud in your face? Yes. It's about, I think we've enough with spuds for today, but we still have two more drills to go. And now, just in twilight, that is all the potatoes dug. We are finished. All is dug. Happy days. It finished up very, very sticky there. But, um, how and ever. How and ever. Right, bro. Give me a hand, get these bags onto the trailer. We get going before it gets any darker. <coughs> so, that is the harvester finished up. All went here okay. Yeah, Just took a bit longer than expected. Three hours. Three hours. Yeah. Half four. Yeah. So the weeds were again us and it wasn't over dry, but what can we expect in the month of December? But this is all the spuds we got. We have a heritage mix which will be for sale in the shop. This box is Kurt Pink's and a few others. Uh, this is our box for our own consumption as the Kurt Pink's. A lot of them were boasted when we were eating some of them and it just don't feel safe selling them so we'll eat them ourselves. Box of roosters for sale and a, our records which is in this box and the bag. So they'll be all for sale in the shop. We'll bring these home, we'll put them into our container and then we will grade them when they dry out a bit and with the harvester we will give it a spin when the clay dries and clean it up. It's just everything was sticky. It wasn't ideal but the harvest is over, spuds are finished. Everton is harvested for this year on the 18th of December. That is it from us. There's no point filming any at home because it's gone dark. That is it from us. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Potatoes will be, potatoes will be in the shop for the foreseeable future. We'll have them bagged and in two or five kilo bags. Anyway, that is it from us. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. That is it from us. Good luck. Bye -bye.